Welcome back to the Chad Hasty Show on News Talk 790 KFYO and streaming online, KFYO.com. Joining me on the phones right now, uh, this is going to be a really great show, really great uh, movie coming up uh, on Sunday, October 16th at 7 p.m. Central on the Nat Geo channel, Killing Reagan. It was a, a book, of course, written by Bill O'Reilly. Uh, this was uh, after his books, Killing Jesus, Killing Kennedy, uh, Killing Lincoln. And uh, on to tell us uh, about uh, about the book uh, is the director of Killing Reagan. And uh, joining us on the phones, Rod Laurie. Rod, good morning. Welcome to the good morning, Chad. How show. you how, how you doing, man? Doing great. Uh, appreciate you coming on with us. Uh, this uh, I think is going to be a uh, just a, a, a tremendous uh, movie for people to see on Sunday. Uh, w- when you got hooked in with this, uh, w- with Killing Reagan, yeah. uh, what did you want to bring to this movie? Well, you know, I, I really wanted to just do the TikTok of what happened in the assassination attempt. And by that, I mean the TikTok of uh, John Hinckley's spiral into insanity. And, and then also, you know, how, how Reagan got to where he was on the day of the assassination, the assassination itself, and uh, what happened in the hospital, what happened afterward. You know, I, I get a call from my agent that says, hey, do you want to do uh, the Bill O'Reilly book, uh, you know, Killing Reagan? And you got to understand that, you know, we're basically all liberal Democrats here. And so, you know, I'm I'm thinking, oh, my God, I, I, I can't do a, a movie about Reagan. I can't do a Bill O'Reilly thing. You know, and, and how do I do, how do, how, do I, how do I do this? And then I read the book and I read the script, and, you know, it's remarkably nonpartisan. Hmm. And so really, I, I, the approach that I took was, this is history. And so we're going to tell the history of exactly what happened. And it so happens that it's fascinating and interesting and entertaining and fast-paced. And so, uh, that you know, that's how I was able to, to go ahead and, and do this. I think do it very successfully. How much interaction did you have with Bill O'Reilly? Because, I mean, he wrote the book. Uh, how yeah. much interaction did, did you two have? Well, we had interaction. I mean, we talked during the script stage. We talked during production. Uh, you know, he he comes down on uh, he comes down to the set on the second day to last day of shooting, and it, it was really interesting to to watch because we came on uh, on a day where we were doing a scene in the press room, and so there were like forty people. We shot in Atlanta. We had forty Georgian actors down there, and they are um, uh, they're all like. In a state of shock when O'Reilly walks in, he's a big guy, right? He's like uh, seven foot five or something. He walks in, and you would think that the Beatles had walked in. He was, they just, they just <laughs> love him. They love, love, love him. I see why those these books sell so much. He's got so much credibility. With, um, you know, certainly these uh, these people were, you know, largely conservative. Right. So it was really interesting to 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 watch, and you know, and he's a. Uh, you know he's a great promoter. I mean he's he and he's, uh, you know I don't I don't agree with most of his politics, but I, I do watch his show. I think it's really entertaining. And 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 you know with with the the movie Killing Reagan, and I think if people saw Killing Jesus, Killing Kennedy, Killing Lincoln, all of those right. got rave reviews. You know from the mm-hmm. left and from the right. And and right. something that I notice is that they are it, it everyone has wanted to t- you know to to take these to take these books. And to take the hist- the historic parts of these books, and and really right. tell the story around them, right? Um, yeah, they they really did, and um, I think that the that the that the history uh, for these things um, really are really are the engine of it, very very much so. And I think you're absolutely correct, and and we are incredibly uh, accurate. I think National Geographic is obsessed. With getting these things perfect in terms of uh, of, of accuracy, and I think that we're very close here. We're visiting with uh, Rod Laurie. I've watched some of the behind the scenes, the YouTube videos that uh, Nat Geo has right. put out, and uh, also heard about one uh, as well from uh, one of my coworkers here when uh, he heard mm-hmm. I was having you on, and it was that that you kept the. Um, or, or, or at least uh, for the most part, it seemed that y'all kept the actors uh, who who played Ronald Reagan and the actor who played Hinckley, that y'all kept them separate until the attempted assassination scene. Is that correct? That's right. I, I wanted the actor, Kyle Moore, who was playing Hinckley, 
to feel isolated. And I, because I thought that would bring some strength to his, to his performance. And I wanted him to feel like an outsider. I wanted him to feel like he wasn't wanted because that's what uh, Hinckley went through in, in his own life. And I thought that uh, that ended up being very effective, in fact. What uh, when, when I was watching the uh, behind the scenes, it is so mm-hmm. interesting uh, seeing some of these actors and, and, and for the actor who plays Ronald Reagan, um, mm-hmm. it, it's I, I, yeah. And I watched him on West Wing and, <laughs> and to see the, the transformation, I, I just thought was awesome. What do you think that the individual actors took away from this movie? Well, I think that, you know, listen, we're all, like I said, we're all liberal Democrats. And so I think what uh, what all of us took away from it was uh, sort of having a, a deeper respect for the, um, a deeper respect for the, um, uh, the man that Ronald Reagan was, mm-hmm. you know, that, you know, what, what, what he went through and how he behaved during that assassination attempt was simply uh, extraordinary, you know. You remember um, a few months ago, Donald Trump was up on a stage and uh, the Secret Service jumped on stage. They, they thought that maybe there was somebody in the audience trying to get up there. Right. And Trump, you know, with all due respect to his manhood, behaved like a little girl. You know, he got, he got frightened and uh, I thought he was going to go to the bathroom on that stage. And you compare that to Reagan, who actually got a bullet inside of him and how he behaved. And how he cracked jokes at the hospital and tried to make everybody at ease. Right. There's no comparison. There's no comparison. I'm I'm sorry, but there's just no comparison. And um, and I think that we you know all of us left with uh, m- more respect for Reagan than we would ever had before. Very interesting. We're visiting with the uh, director of Killing Reagan, which uh, will uh, premiere on the Nat Geo Channel uh, coming up at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock on Sunday, October sixth, the National Geographic Channel. Ron Laurie. Uh, on mm-hmm. with us right now here on the Chad HD show. And uh, right. you obviously, with, with the two stories, these two stories that are merging, the story of Hinckley, the story of right. Reagan, as right. a director, what did you have maybe more fun with? Uh, what were you more interested in when, when it came to analyzing both of these men and, and, and these characters and them coming together at a certain point? What was the more interesting mm-hmm. story for you? Well, to me, to, you know, I, I really reveled in getting it as accurate as we possibly could. This National Geographic is, is, a, is obsessed with that. And so we just did the most amazing amount of research so that we could replicate the assassination attempt and everything that happened in the hospital uh, after that, you know, to uh, sort of a pinpoint accuracy. And to me, that was the most fun and most interesting thing about uh, about uh, th- about this project, and I think that you'll see that when you see the movie. I think you'll, you'll to people who saw the assassination as it occurred back in 1991, it'll be semi spellbinding how how accurate uh, my whole team came to getting it. By that I mean the hair, the makeup, the costumes, the um, the extras, uh, you know, the, you know, the stunts. It, it's all just uh, perfectly synchronized, in my opinion. You know, uh, out, out here in Lubbock, Texas, of course, uh, home of Texas Tech University, and Hinckley actually attended, as you know, Texas Tech University. Uh, one, was was any of that, you know, covered in his backstory? How, how far back did you go into the, the history of Hinckley? And, and on top of that, what was something that you think the, the average viewer, and of course, you know, the, the average viewer probably hasn't de- delved deep into the history of Ronald Reagan and right. uh, John Hinckley. What do you think they'll walk away with as, as new knowledge? I think that uh, they will see that this assassination attempt completely changed the Reagan presidency. He went into a mode of that which does not kill you makes you stronger. And whereas he had previously been, um, he had previously been, um, Really led by his subordinates and led by the um, led by all you know the Devers and the, even Nancy, he became his own man in, in his own decision making. He thought he had been spared by God and um, made the decision from now on he was in charge, and that is something that was really interesting. Before I let you go, uh, you you brought up Donald Trump and the current election cycle right. that we're in right now, and and you said mm-hmm. uh, everybody who was working on it, uh, liberal Democrats who were working on this, is there anything that? Because here's how I feel about the election: 
it, it, we're we're yeah, at a no. we're we're at a sad point in our country where we have so many real issues going on. We have two candidates that a, a lot of people in this country cannot stand. Uh, right. It, is mm-hmm. is there anything that these two candidates, if they were to sit down <laughs> and watch the movie, Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, not together because that would right. end up in a fight. But if right. they were to watch this movie, is there something that they could take away? from Ronald Reagan, from this story of his presidency uh, in, in the in the movie Killing Reagan? Well, I think that, uh, that Trump, uh, to be honest with you, I think that Hillary could uh, could take away um, sort of the uh, he, one thing that Reagan was not was uh, one face in public and one face in private. And, you know, he was a, a very sincere guy. And I think that's something that Hillary could learn from. And, and I say this with all sincerity. I think Trump is, is a lost cause. I think that um, he is as different from Ronald Reagan as any human uh, can, po- can possibly be. You know, I, you know, he's, a, in my opinion, a, a, as Colin Powell said, a national disgrace. And I, I think that he's relatively ir- irredeemable. And the notion that he ever makes a comparison of himself to Ronald Reagan um, probably uh, sickens his children. In fact, I think Michael Reagan said that Ronald Reagan would never vote for Donald Trump. So, you know, I- I'll tell you one thing. One of the reasons we're going to be a-, a big hit is because right now even uh, Democrats are nostalgic for Ronald Reagan. Hmm. And, and, and it comes across, and, and, and I appreciate you coming on the show and, and pointing out also that uh, a lot of Democrats worked on the show, but you have this newfound respect all of every everyone who worked on this and i think everyone who watches this will have a newfound respect for ronald reagan it comes across in this interview and uh, i appreciate you coming on and talking to us about killing reagan it premieres uh this sunday 7 p.m central time here in lubbock uh, texas uh on the national geographic channel i can't wait uh rod laurie i've I've been a fan of some of your other shows that you've put out there i'm a big fan of political tv uh so i appreciate uh you coming on the show today and uh good luck with everything thank you very much my friend cheers to you have a good one rod thank you thanks